believe in no fate. Uh, every day digging the grave. Uh, stepping up here with a stace. Uh, city of dreams, city of game. You don't believe in no fate. Can't stop digging night city. City like any other, just bigger. Nah, no, man, not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Michael Whelan, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Let's grab a side bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson and Murphy. Fucking drive, Jackie. Come on, V. Shoot. Can't keep her steady. All tight, V. Focus on getting home. Down to further notice. Necessary security measures. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you? Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show I mean, I'm trying to be a stand up guy. Giving me a chance. Wait. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. not nice um always i'm always never not nice You. 
Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill me? They'll let me through. Sure about that? Oh yeah. I'll play nice guy, Jimmy. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is the president. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zipping your deeds. One Reverend Culver. Praise be to thee, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. I love treating you, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. Stupid gates busted again. Third time. Hate to so get it fixed the last two. What? Gotta be you some can't. kind of scam. something when I jacked into that corpo's biomon. You know, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw in some threads, meet me downstairs. How'd you find hey, me? Yo, How'd you me? even know my name? I know where to I gather my intel. You could even call me what a collector. Later, V. I've also been promised a retirement package. In other news, the NCPD welcomes... Hello, it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exclusive multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the dashi parade. Hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you as a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Synth sirloin? Check. Chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. 
Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coupe. I thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacific. Things got ugly. Mm -hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. There's a lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. Orbital Eyes up to his elbows in blood, Jack. You want to shake his hand? Work with him? It's the biz, V. Everyone's got blood on their hands. You deal with it. You move on. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's right now. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a little of his own. You know what I'm saying? Not really. No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, adios. Bueno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up first. Hey, watch it! Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. Vicky, surprise everyone. Old Ripper, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. 
had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean. Hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now Jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now? I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, with anything, really.
scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it auto worked like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Mm, your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, and yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Not only you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes... V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber-psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate for max tap against the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. 
corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps you of work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little Klein insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. <laughs> Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Dexter, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod. Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> She's gone. Yeah, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? 
Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. A person's true value? Death. Facing. Staring it down. Uh, Johnny. I got you. 